Okay, so in today's math lesson, what we worked on is comparing uh, decimal fractions. And uh, what we did here was build some charts. Uh, and as we built charts to compare, what we wound up doing is uh, decomposing values. In other words, looking at values or changing, finding equivalent, equivalent decimals so that we're comparing the same place value. Um, let, me, let me show you what I'm talking about here. In the first problem, I have 16 and 45 hundredths. And the second number here, so that was, this was the first one. Here comes the second one here. I have 16 and, there's my decimal, 454 thousandths. Now, if I'm going to compare these things here, I notice that I, you know, all the numbers here are the same, right, until I get to this area over here. Now, this is kind of what I have to uh, compare. So, here, if I was to find total thousandths for this particular number, because right now I have four thousandths, but I also have five hundredths. Now, five hundredths is really fifty thousandths. Four tenths is four hundred thousandths. Six ones is six thousand thousandths. And one ten, uh, and one ten, or one in the tens place, is really ten thousand thousandths. For a grand total of one thousand, sorry, excuse me, sixteen thousand four hundred fifty-four thousandths. Now, what I'd like to do now is change this number here to an equivalent value that uses thousandths, or some number in the thousandths place. Now, the only thing I really have to do here for this case, or in this case, is to add a zero right here. And if I do, all of a sudden I have 16 and 450 thousandths. Or total thousandths would be, let me put my little thing here, would be 16,000. 450 thousandths. Now I have a direct uh, comparison here. Because if I have 16,450 thousandths for, versus 16,454 thousandths, the one on the right wins. Okay, Because I'm directly comparing thousandths with thousandths. Well, it takes a little while to get used to this, but that's basically how it rolls. Okay, um, I'll give you another one here to show you what I'm talking about. Um, let's take a look at um, this guy here. Let's take a look at E, okay? I have uh, 419 and 10, and 10 hundredths. I have 419 and 99 hundredths. Now, if I was to change, oh, excuse me, thousandths, 99 thousandths. If I, this one's in thousandths, so I like this one. But if I'm going to change this one into thousandths, the only thing I have to do is put a zero here. All of a sudden, I have uh, 100 thousandths here versus 99 thousandths. And right away I can see which one is greater. Now if I want to talk about total thousandths, I could actually say that this is 419,100 thousandths versus 419,000, throw one in there, 99 thousandths. Okay? And that's kind of how it works. Now, the next thing we started doing here is ordering values. And that's kind of cool, too. So here we're going to go in increasing order. So the smallest value uh, will go on the left, and the largest value will go on the right. And for this one, I'm going to build a big old chart. And I'm going to build it big enough for four rows and enough place values to get all those numbers in there. Okay, so the first one here, I have... Uh, 8.08. Oops. Oops. Kind of messing up here a little bit. 08. Next one I have 8.081, 8.09, and 8.008. Now, once again, what I want to do here is compare everything to the same place value. So I notice my greatest place value here. Um, is the thousandths place, or the one closest to the right, furthest to the right. Um, so what I want to do here is add value to the other numbers so that I can directly compare everything to the thousandths place. And I'll notice that I, the only difference that I, differences I have here in the numbers is that I have eight thousandths here, I have ninety thousandths here, I have eighty-one thousandths here, and I have eighty thousandths there. Now I can put everything in order. Because this one here, the eight thousandths is the smallest, so that's going to be my number one. It looks to me like 80 thousandths is my number two. And my number three would be 81 thousandths. And my number four 
would be 90 thousandths. Now, if I wanted to look at it holistically for the entire number, here I would have, my number one, I would have a total of 8,008 thousandths. My number two would be 8,080 thousandths. My number three would be 8,081 thousandths. And my last value here would be 8,090 thousandths. And that's kind of how it works. All right, folks, that's about it. Thanks so much. Take care. Bye-bye.